Hi, I'm Lydia Williams. I play for the women's national soccer team, which is the Matildas, and I'm a goalkeeper. Okay. Uh, you know, when I'm training, I have to make sure that I have I eat a lot because I, I train a lot. So, uh, you know, I make sure I have a lot of bread, uh, some fruit. I really like fruit and vegetables, and make sure I have you know some some meat in there. I really like meat and salmon. I don't know if you like fish, but I really like fish. Uh, and the foods I choose to eat when you know I'm training, the the breads give me a lot of energy, and you know they make me keep going for the whole entire session. Um, when I start to lift weights to get my muscles all big, I have to have some yogurt or some some milk because that helps me to repair the injured muscles. So I really like a lot of that stuff, but I, I love fruit. It just makes me feel like so happy. So. <laughs> When I first started at the AIS, we got to have nutrition talks with our very own nutritionist. So I keep in touch with her a lot um, to make sure that I'm eating the right foods, but I'm pretty knowledgeable now um, about what I should and shouldn't eat um, and what makes me have more energy and makes me perform better. Oh. Living in the bush in the desert, I grew up eating kangaroos, guanas, those little grubs in the ground. But probably the weirdest thing I've eaten it recently has been a reindeer. I ate right Rudolph. So, <laughs> hopefully he's still alive. Hi, I'm Christy Harrow and I play with the Australian Opals basketball team. Uh, my daily routine with eating is, of course, breakfast in the morning. And it's only of last year that I actually started to eat porridge. So I'm now eating a lot of porridge. Um, then I have a snack, especially after our training, since we train in the morning and then it's lunch and my, my lunch is usually a, a sandwich or a wrap so it's quite healthy and then it's another snack in the afternoon then we have dinner mostly my dinners are things like risotto uh, stir fry steak and veggies chicken and veggies it's quite simple but very nutritious and then it's another snack at night I'm actually going through a stage right now with my nutritionist to only eat three main meals and three snacks a day I have a lot of people telling me what to eat and what not to eat and in the end it's me telling me what to eat. When I lived in France, when I was playing basketball in France, I ended up eating snails and I had frog's legs and they were beautiful. Hello, my name is Raheem Williams. I live here at the Australian Institute of Sport and I'm a 400 meter hurdler. When I'm in training, I eat what fuels my body. so fruit, veg, meat, all the basic stuff and then on the side I have snacks to keep me going throughout the day. Um, breakfast, most important thing, so if you can't get going, have cereal maybe with a drink on the side and then um, get to about lunch time after training, you've worked off a lot of the stuff and you need a bit more fuel so I have Certainly some meat, just some veg and salad as well to get me going throughout the day and then probably around 3 or 4 o'clock I have snacks generally before or after I've just finished training again and that'll keep me going through about dinner where I'll have uh, probably some more meat, a lot more vegetables, not have too much to sit in my stomach before dinner and then Maybe if I've trained well and I deserve it, maybe a bit of dessert. <laughs> the difference that I get from training and not training in terms of food tends to stay the same because uh, my body still needs the same fuel to keep going. So I like to stay in a good routine, a good healthy routine to get me going. In my sport, I tend to not eat a lot of food. Um, so the food that I do eat is high in sort of fuel and stuff like that. So when I do actually run, I don't have a lot of it sitting in my stomach. And then um, a good thing is food afterwards, straight afterwards, sort of like fruit and usually bars really help me sort of recover well as well. So the next day I can actually train at my peak and still keep it going. The weirdest food that I eat is when I'm back home, I tend to eat a lot of kangaroo, um, a lot of witchetty grubs, which is sort of not on your usual menu you will find in a lot of places. Um, I love rabbit as well. Yeah, that's probably the weirdest food that I've had. Hi, I'm Evan O'Hanlon and I'm a Paralympic sprinter. 
I run the 100 and 200 metres in the T38 class at the Paralympic Games. And at the last Paralympic Games in Beijing, I won the 100, 200 and the 4x1 relay, all in world record times. I have cerebral palsy. So cerebral palsy is basically brain damage uh, while you're still uh, inside your mum or just as you're coming out. And uh, that means that I can't move part of my body properly and I can't control it the way I want to. So for me, it's the whole left side of my body that I can't uh, coordinate the right way. And it means I'm less coordinated, not as strong. When I wake up in the morning, the first thing I do is uh, have breakfast. And breakfast is a really important meal because it means that you're fueled and ready to go for your first training session. But because that training session is so close for me, I, uh, I can't eat that much because otherwise I'll feel a little bit sick at training, especially when I have uh, a lot of running to do up at the track. So I try and get uh, some good nutrition in a small meal. You have a nice green tea and green tea will help me uh, hydrate myself because uh, that extra water get into my system and help me start the day properly. And, uh, and then I'll have some toast with, uh, with some uh, spreads on it and try and get some uh, high protein spreads in there so that I can have a little bit for my muscles to repair after the training session. Um, making good decisions uh, for food is really important for an athlete and for everybody I suppose because we need to fuel our body, you know, our muscles need certain things to keep us going. We need things like carbohydrates which is in pasta and potatoes and things like that and to rebuild our body after we've had a big session or had a big day at school, uh, we need to have some protein which comes in meats and nuts and things like that so that we can uh, get a rounded diet and our body feels not just full but, uh, but healthy as well because there's a difference between being full because you've eaten a lot and um, being healthy and feeling good because uh, you've eaten the right thing. Travelling around the world as an athlete, uh, you eat a lot of different foods and you get to try all the different cuisines around the world. Uh, I suppose some of the strangest things I've had to eat were uh, at home at my girlfriend's place in the Czech Republic where I've tried a couple of their uh, national cuisines. I've had steak tartare which is actually just raw mint uh, with a bit of garlic and seasoning and I think a raw egg is in there as well. And I've also had uh, chicken livers and hearts which is, and all, basically all the inside of a chicken uh, pulled out and put into a nice big stew for you. It seems like it would, wouldn't taste very nice but it's, uh, it makes a pretty nice thick broth and it's, it's quite nice. Hi, I'm Patria Thomas, a former swimmer. Um, I was a triple Olympic gold medalist in 2004 at the Athens Olympic Games. You know, I've learnt over the years the value of nutrition and what it can do for you when you're trying to get the best out of your body. Um, so I suppose I used to eat, you know, cereal or, or toast or whatever in the mornings and then you know, look at um, having a snack, a snack, a fruit snack or something like that after breakfast. Um, and obviously, you know, lunch, a sandwich, that type of thing. And then sort of, it was really sort of focused around what I was doing in, in training. So if I'd done a hard gym session, you know, you obviously need to refuel your body and, and things. And likewise, after afternoon training sessions, um, into dinner and, and try and get some, uh, you know, good nutritious food into you and I suppose to get yourself ready for the next day which is basically do it all over again. But I think the choice of food is really important that you make. Uh, obviously in the sport of swimming, you know, you're in the pool for a couple of hours at a time and it's, and it's really important to be able to have the energy to get through the, the training session and you know, it's important uh, not just that you put food in, the, in your body but what types of food and I suppose for swimming, given the duration of uh, our training sessions and, and things like that, uh, it was really important to, I suppose, fuel your body with the right fuels. Uh. My name's Tanya Hebner. I'm a swimmer. My daily training menu consists of a fair bit of food. I like to eat breakfast before I train, so I'll have a crumpet, a banana and some milk. And I find this gives me enough energy to train for the two hours that I need in the morning. Um, and when I get out of the pool, I'm hungry again, so I have another breakfast, which is usually eggs or porridge or something that will be a little bit more sustainable until lunchtime. Uh, for lunch, I actually like to eat a lot of meat and vegetables and salads and rice, and I find that they give you a good energy. And then we train again in the afternoon at about, say, 3.30. So I'll often have a little snack of uh, something before that, maybe a piece of bread or another piece of fruit. And then it, when we get out from training, it's then time to have dinner. And 
I often have a very similar meal of meat and vegetables or rice and I find that it's really important to make sure you get enough carbohydrates and protein and iron to keep your energy levels right, not just for that day but for the next day and the next day. I've always, even without training, I've always tried to eat in moderation and, and follow the eating a lot of fruit and vegetables and making sure you have your meats and eating a small amount of fats and sugars and this really suits uh, my training schedule as well because it's giving me the right energy, it's giving me the carbohydrates I need, it's giving me the proteins, the ions, the calcium and all those, all those important vitamins and minerals that as much as you might not feel the instant benefit of it over a period of time, it makes a difference to your health. Just recently I would say I've probably eaten the weirdest food that I've ever eaten and that is jellyfish. And the reason I wanted to eat that is because I've always had a rather bad fear of jellyfish and that's due to open water swimming and I've had several experiences where I've swam through a lot of jellyfish and had come out with big rushes up my arms and things like that and um, I don't know why I chose to eat it. Um, I don't think that's going to change <laughs> anything in the ocean but I just wanted to try it and I actually liked it. <laughs>